Hello, my name is Lucas, this is Bit of Lit, and it's Poetry Thursday. We will talk about Keats and his poetry. Uh, we will do Sonnet 1, apparently, from Poems, 1817, from what the book is telling me, uh, to my brother George. And I choose this poem because it is the first one, and I wanted to talk about Keats. And uh, yeah, I've read this poem before, I like it. I like it a lot. And I know I said I'd write the words up here in some quick editing. The main reason I'm not doing that, and I'm using my phone again, as I have said I won't do um, for Poetry Thursday, is because I forgot to charge the batteries for my camera. And I don't want to put them in on my phone. That's annoying. <laughs> um, next week because I'll have a little more idea on what my job will, job prospects will be like, I guess. Seemed pretty good from what I was told today. But uh, anyway, to my brother George, Sonnet 1. Many the wonders I this day have seen. The sun, when first he kissed away the tears that filled the eyes of morn. The laureled peers who from the feathery gold of evening lean the ocean with its vastness, its blue-green, its ships, its rocks, its caves, its hopes, its fears, its voice mysterious, which whoso hears must think on what will be and what has been. E'en now, dear George, while this for you I write, Cynthia is from her silken curtains peeping so scantily that it seems her bridal night and she her half-discovered revels keeping. But what, without the social thought of thee, would be the wonders of the sky and sea? So, yeah, there's that poem. Very lovely poem for a brother, for George. Good old George. And that's that. I don't have anything else to say. I think it speaks for itself. It's a cool poem, man. Thank you. Goodbye.